Concordia will soon have a new president. She is Judith Woodworth. Her academic career began in 1980 at Concordia University, where she's held various administrative positions. She's also a certified translator. She's also the founding president of the Canadian Association for Translation Studies. And she most recently comes to Concordia from Laurentian University in Sudbury, Ontario, where she was president. And Judith Woodsworth joins us now. You're a busy lady. I am. <laughs> it's lovely to be back. So you're going to be officially installed in November. I am. Exciting time for you, coming back to the university where, you know, you started your academic career. Has the university changed very much over the years, do you think? In a lot of ways, it's the same as it always was. It's a very welcoming university. It's a fascinating place, and uh, it's just great to be back. Uh, I come back and notice big changes, however. Uh, there are new buildings downtown. There are new buildings at Loyola. And the buildings reflect a lot of growth in the university, new programs, new faculty, extra students that we didn't have before. So I notice the change and, and really um, a new momentum and an upswing that, that, that's very exciting to be part of. There's something about Concordia that is a real sort of, it's got a real community sort of feel to it, doesn't it? I found it, it's always, uh, you know, I went there as a student, I also went there as an adult student, yes. and it, it just seems to be so much more accommodating in, in very many ways. Well, Concordia really is the university of the community, and uh, we believe very much in being rooted in our community. We are an urban university. We are now transforming the urban landscape downtown and, and doing a lot in the west end of Montreal as well. But we really believe in being welcoming to our student population and doing a lot to uh, make education accessible and uh, to ensure the success of the students that we bring in. What do you see in the next year? What, what are some of the, your priorities? Well, uh, one of my priorities is to uh, develop a strategic plan for the university. And uh, you really hit the nail on the head because one of the directions that we want to focus on is our community engagement and uh, do an even better job than we have been doing on uh, linking with the community and serving the community through our teaching and research. We're going to focus on the student experience and making that experience as rich as it can be and uh, ensuring that our students are engaged in the community and also uh, concentrating on our areas of academic excellence and uh, becoming recognized for what we do well, recognized not only in this community but across the country and internationally. Not just Concordia, but, but most universities, you know, will talk about the problems with funding, and especially in Quebec, where the tuition, mm. tuition fees are, are so low relative mm. to, to other universities. Is that a, a constant concern for you, though, that the lack of funds trying to attract new talent when you don't maybe not mm -hmm. have the resources? Well, I would say resources are a challenge for every president in this country. Uh, there's only so much money that government wants to contribute. And uh, while we're co constantly urging government to contribute more, uh, we need to get uh, revenue from other sources. So the tuition is, is an issue in Quebec, that uh, more of an issue here than it, it was in Ontario. Uh, but uh, yes, funding is, is a challenge. Uh, trying to get funding from uh, donors as well will be a challenge in this economic context. But, uh, you know, it's something that uh, all of us, all the presidents in this country are, are trying to cope with. Okay, well, thank you so much for coming in today. Oh, you're very welcome. It's a pleasure.